Advocates want the city to reverse the changes that were put in place during the pandemic, which is stopping vehicles from entering High Park during the weekends and holidays. They say it's made it harder for people to enjoy the park, especially seniors and those with disabilities. High Park is one of Toronto's most beloved destinations, but the change in vehicle access on the weekends has stirred up concerns. The attendance in the park has dropped considerably. Um, in everybody, the, the restaurant has lost customers. It's empty on the weekends. It used to be packed. The zoo has noticed a big departure from people coming down. The nature center has suffered losses. The measure that was put in place temporarily during the pandemic has now become permanent. Drivers are only allowed to drive into the park on weekdays, not including holidays, and parking spaces were also reduced by 50%. Advocates say the city plans to close it seven days a week next year. People are not coming back during the week because the way they've made the one-way system on the roads, it's difficult to get into the park and they've taken out 360 parking spaces. Advocates say their biggest concern is that the park is not accessible for seniors, those with disabilities and families with young kids trying to access the park's amenities. We're standing here on Bloor Street. No parent is going to pull up here at 5.30 on a winter evening and drop a kid with a hockey bag and send them 500 meters down to play hockey. It gets dark at five. I have my mother who's 85 years old and she has some hip issues. Uh, tradition for us would be like to go to church just uh, not far from here then go to the Grenadier restaurant for brunch on a weekend and we can't do that anymore. Advocates say the rally isn't just about reopening roads. They want to find solutions that work for everyone. Whether it's adjusting parking options, adding more accessible parking spots, introducing special access passes or providing the shuttle bus service year round. I've lived in the west end of Toronto my whole life. I've spent many, many happy hours in Hyde Park. And up until these last changes came through, we had a very happy marriage of bikes, cars and pedestrians. Everybody could come and go at their leisure, okay? And now, since these changes have come in, if, if look at the problems we have now with the petitions and people complaining about it, we never had that before. An attraction should be used, not we shouldn't be putting up things that say you can't come here. The High Park Access for All petition has already received over 20,000 signatures. Organizers say they have tried to contact city councillors but have had a hard time receiving a response. I did get one response from the city, from the city, from the mayor's office, and I've written hundreds of letters. And when I responded to it, they wanted to see me. When I said I was available at any time, I didn't hear back from them, and that's three months ago. Residents plan to have another rally on Saturday, November 2nd. We also reached out to local councillor Gord Perks, but did not hear back in time for broadcast. At High Park, Catalina Gillies, City News.